So there has been quite the controversy over these life-changing brushes. I first got them, or I first experienced them, from Mary, Mary Polenko. She also has a YouTube channel. I'll link her below. And she brought them over to me so that I could play with them. I wasn't impressed when she, she brought these, the, um, the makeup brushes. Um, I didn't play with them very much. I blended like one or two panels and I was busy with my mind on other things. So I didn't even really give them a second thought. Um, so then we went to our on the make event, me and Mary's event, and someone had brought the uh, picket fence brushes and we had the Amazon brushes. So I was like, what is the difference? Like they look really similar. So it intrigued so, me so much so that I bought them both. Okay, so I got the picket fence uh, collection here and both uh, and the Amazon one. The Amazon uh, makeup brushes were $8.99 and I'm a prime member for Amazon so I didn't pay for shipping. Um, the picket fence brushes were something I'll put it on the screen here. It was a lot more, like 40 or 50 bucks. There's quite a bit of difference in price. So I was like, all right, let's play with these suckers and see what the big deal is, what the hoopla is about. Anyway, um, so they, they these came in like two days, Amazon Prime. These took like a week and a half. So, um, so you know, there's that. If you have to have immediate gratification, instant gratification. They, this, they came in a very similar package because I got them in two days. I couldn't wait. <laughs> so I had played with these. Um, I couldn't wait. I had to play with them. Um, these have ink already on them because I've used them. Um, these are what they look like. Okay. I don't really want to, they're, I don't want to mix them up because they are very similar and I don't know if I trust myself to tell the difference. <laughs> Picket fence on the left and the Amazon brushes on the right, okay? Okay, this is the biggest brush that they have um, in the package, okay? Oh, and it, the biggest one from here and the biggest one from here and then that's how I'll go down the line and show the differences between them, if there are any. I mean, clearly you can see that this one has like a puffier bristle, okay? Like there's a lot more. This is more dense and this has a, maybe a lot more, but they're, they're puffed out. Both of these are a um, off brand for Artiste makeup brushes and they are very fancy, very expensive makeup brushes and I won't be buying them, <laughs> okay? I don't wear makeup enough. To do that plus I don't know I feel like I'd be like brushing my teeth with my makeup I don't know it's weird foundation on or whatever and that feels really nice might have to try it <laughs> um, so this is the biggin this is the biggin and you can see the differences between them here on camera we're gonna blend with them also I have not used these because they're so big like I feel like they're really big uh, here's the next biggest I mean, they feel identical in weight. I could weigh them if I cared that much. Does anyone care that much? You can see a slight difference in the handle. Like this handle is very smooth, okay? And this handle has a, like a bit of a grip. It's not anything substantial, but it is different. Next. Okay, so here's the next in line. And these are much darker, even though I used ink on them, they are much darker in color than these. These are like very red like a, these are ginger brushes. <laughs> these, and this one's very, a lot more, a lot more poof to this one. I don't know, it's a lot more poof. Um, yeah, they feel the same. If they weigh different, it's negligible, okay? So these, at first, when I saw this shape, I was like, what in the heck is this gonna be good for? Who's going to ink blend with that? But I actually have, and I really enjoy it. <laughs> These, this is the side here. 
Uh, this is from the packaging. It's kind of like worn. I think it'll it'll loosen up a little bit. So I put ink on the on the very tip of this and brushed it on like this, and that was really fun. And then here are the last two smaller ones. Also, uh, so Simon Hurley has that, and I know Simon Says Stamp has a stencil that you can build your own flowers from the stencil. I think like a few companies have this type probably all to new as well. Um, and so these smaller uh, brushes, when you kind of look at them and you're like, who's gonna take the time to do that? But when you have a small area that you wanna get, maybe a heart or I don't know, a cloud, or in this instance, it was a flower, um, you can easily get in there and ink blend a variation of color with different inks with these small brushes. Strathmore Bristol Smooth Cardstock is what I typically like to ink blend on because it's easier. The smoothness of this cardstock makes your inks kind of like, it's a little bit more of a slick surface. It's like a slick track for your inks and it kind of moves around more. Spoiler alert, um, I have found that at least with this side of the table here with the Amazon makeup brushes, um, I don't like using them with the oxides. Um, I still prefer my blender brushes, but for dye inks, these are money. So I hope that these are going to be the same, but for whatever reason, um, it picks up and spreads around the dye ink far better than it does the oxide ink and that's just me maybe it's the texture of the bristles maybe it's the density of the brush or the formula of the ink i don't know i'm just telling you what i like so this medium sized brush was my favorite of the all of the sizes so this is what i'm going to use today i'm also using some simon hurley dye ink this is an ink by ranger and this is the strathmore bristol smooth cardstock and i'm just trying to blend the color into white with these. That is typically what we go for when we want to ink blend. So that's what I'm doing. Um, I can tell you that the dye ink is blended far better than the oxides with these types of brushes. This now is the Amazon makeup brush of the same um, size. And again, it does ink blend the dye ink fabulously. I don't really see a difference between the two collections of brushes. I can say that the life-changing brushes from Picket Fence are a lot puffier. And because it's less dense, your hand fatigue is less. It looks very similar to me. I mean, I might have put more ink on this side than this side, but let's keep going and see what we discover. Um, what I've been doing is going over my microfiber cloth and kind of wiping the ink away. And you can certainly go in and use it again after this step. But when I change colors um, or work on a different area, um, I like this color box cleaning pad. I'm not quite sure what the chemical is on this. It's supposed to be for cleaning stamps, to remove excess ink from stamps. So I figured if it's okay for soft photopolymer, then it's okay for these brushes. So I've just been going over it like this and you can actually see the ink coming off onto the pad Okay, and it is like a wet and then it'll almost like an alcohol because it evaporates really quickly So I'm not sure what this is or if you want to use it for things, but As soon as this dries out for me, I'm gonna end up putting like cleaning solution on it That's I'm just telling you my secret evil plans I chose a very light color of oxide to play with, which was probably a bad idea, but they also blend the oxides well. I'm just saying that I prefer them with the dye inks. I think the Nouveau Blender brushes do a better job at ink blending the oxide inks for me. This could be totally different for you. Um, I did want to see what it was like to blend the oxides with each brush and then to also test it on a stencil. Okay, so in a few seconds, I'm going to break out the mini cloud stencil from MFT to try to see what it feels like to blend on your paper with the brushes. Um, I think both of them look fabulous. It's a very light color. So if you're trying for a deep, dark color, you might want to go with the Ranger ink blending tool. So here's the stencil. And I have to say that the blender brushes by Picket Fence, because they're poofy, they went over the stencil much easier. 
again, it's it lends itself to hand fatigue. When you have a denser brush, it has a harder, you have to push harder. So your hands are going to get tired more easily. And that's what I found as is the case with these brushes. I also found that the smaller brushes in the set that I thought were completely useless are actually the most helpful. And I'm going to be using them a lot to do selective ink blending. This will help me not only get a lot more out of my stencils, but also a lot more out of my inks. I'll be able to blend even more variations of color with a smaller brush. Honestly, in the end, both of these sets of brushes are fantastic. And if you have trouble ink blending, you might want to give either of these sets a try. Leave me in the comments below your opinion and if you've tried these. I know that I'm gonna be using them both. And honestly, I think I might um, be taking this one upstairs.